Hello again everyone and welcome back to my little tool clips from around the world. Today I've got for you a Boca Plus Mini Tech Tool City 4. Now, this might surprise you if you don't know this one already. There you go, comes in a reasonable uh, basic cardboard box. There you go, it's a little multi-tool. It's a keychain multi-tool. Right, let's pop this puppy out. There you go. This is instructions. Anything else? Nothing else in there. No, cool. What we got? We got, that's in German. It's not going to be any good. And we got English. Thank you, support. That's quite all right. Boca Plus Care for Knives, limited lifetime warranty, the standard stuff you get in there, okay? Look at that, it's nice, isn't it? Anyway, let's get back to it. So, comes in a nice little tissue paper uh, pouch, I mean, wrap, as you always generally get with a Boca, a lot of them. But that's, there she is, look at that. That's really small and compact. Really nice. Um, I like this. <laughs> I don't really like this. I've been waiting for this for a couple of months. Um, they haven't had one for a while, so, and I just really like it. It's my little keychain carry. Um, but there you go, guys. There you go, as you can see, all right? Anyway, so, what we got? So, basically, oh, look at that. There she is, there's the money shot. Lovely drop point blade, absolutely gorgeous. Really is. So, um but nice little snap to her as well blade is dead center down the middle as it should be um no blade play which is good uh or blade rub by the looks of it no let's have a look turn her over no it shouldn't be but look at that that is absolutely lovely it's got the boat boker insignia on the front and on the back, you can see it's 12C27 stainless. Sandvik. She actually, three fingers, I can get two, or easy, three fingers there. Nice purchase on the uh, top there. Um, yeah, really good in the hand, actually, considering she's only small, right? But not that small. Small but mighty. Anyway, lovely uh, drop point blade. She's got a hollow grind. And yeah... So that's gonna with the 12C27, it's gonna be easy to maintain, hold a reasonable edge. Um, it's got a mirror finish, as you can see, which helps prevent rust. Okay. Um, let's see, let's have a look. I mm, quite good. That's about a 4.5. Yeah. And she pulls about about a four. Okay, so you've got steel linings. There you go. Um, yeah, I really like that. Look at the G10. Look at the G10 scales though. Really nice. Little, very fine checkering on there. So she's very grippy, but refined. Not tacky looking, nothing like that at all. Really nice. Um, you could have this in an office, anywhere. can go anywhere this thing um obviously um i feel it's, it is very grippy definitely very grippy and quite a sure hold um so yeah no pocket clip obviously because it's such a it's a small knife um fit and finish overall do you know what it's excellent <laughs> it really is um and the ergos is pretty good i mean there's no hot spots i can't feel any spot but i'd say very good um you know, there's no choil wing like that there. I mean, there is sharpening choil, but no, because it's a small knife. There's no half stop, but you know what? You don't need it, not on this size, not really. So anyway, let's go around here. Let's see what else we've got. So we've got a combination tool, a multi little multi-tool blade. So we've got a screwdriver. There you go, slotted, um, about four mil, 4.5 mil, okay. You could use this as a mini little scraper. As you can see, it's got a slight bevel on here if you wanted to, very light duties. I could, you could even actually use this to take away any dirt behind the nails, isn't that? So, you know, you've got a couple of things here. You've got a seatbelt cutter, or you could actually use that as a box cutter. If you've got something fragile in a box, rather than use a knife and possibly scratch it below, 
unless you've got a retractable blade where you can set the depth, you can just use this, spike and pull. Really good, going along the seam where the parcel tape is there. It's a really, that's what I use it for, or will be using it for rather. Um, bottle cap opener, okay. Always uh, important, especially during the summer, right? Uh, what else we got? Now, you've also got a pair of scissors and they're really good. <laughs> just little, just, they're only small, but you know what? Pretty good, guys. Really quite impressive, I think, anyway. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. How do they cut? Yeah, nothing wrong with that. They cut, guys. They cut very well. Really good. No issues there at all. Yeah, I'm impressed with that. Now, what about the knife? Let's have a look while we're here. Let's cut her, let's see. Now, does she cut out the box? Yeah, she does. Oh yeah, no, that, she's a slicer. She is super sharp, absolutely gorgeous, as it should be. Oh, really cool, guys. That's made me happy. Um, this is really nice, as it should be, you know? So anyway, what I think of this knife, well, <laughs> I'll tell you what, let's compare this first with another knife I got, which is the Ruki, or Rake, uh, Rake as some people call it. Now, they're made, some say they're made in the same factory. Look how similar they are, yeah? One's in the OD green and one's in the black. But if you look closely, apart from slightly being wider, obviously, because you've got three tools here, three back springs, this one, if you just play it, look at the uh, here, you got the G10, which is rounded. It's got an oval to it, where here it's dead flat. I prefer the slight oval in the hand. It's just, it's nicer to hold. These are both G10. This is great as, as a backup knife for when I'm outdoors, um, in the woods, whatever. And if I lost my other knife, my main knife or something like that, you know, which would be very rare, or it become very blunt, even though I've got a sharpening stone with me, a small little one, D4. Um, but this, this is just yeah, really good, guys. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. So, right, blade depth, what we've got here. Altogether, overall, you're looking at, from the sharpening chart, two inches, well, five centimeters, okay? Um, the thickness of this blade is about 1.8, two mil, something like that. Um, let's have a look, that's inches, so, yeah, look, you got nearly 0.8 of an inch, or yeah, nearly two mil, okay. Um, overall length for this knife is, hmm, if I put that there where, yeah, just, just there. So you're talking one, two, three, four, four and three quarters of an inch, guys, or um, 12 centimeters, okay. And closed, I'd say, yeah, seven centimeters or um, two and three quarters of an inch, okay? The weight on this knife is gonna be, let's have a look. I'm not sure, 30, uh, what's going on here? What is going, okay, I've got to recalibrate it. Do bear with me. Okay, so you've got, yeah, 50 grams, okay, or 1.7 ounces, so yeah, not, not, it's not a lot, but it's solid, guys. It's small, but mighty, let me tell you. So what do I think of this knife? This is my overall opinion. This is a very handy, well-made, lightweight, compact, um, and actually quite an elegant design. Um, really nicely finished, excellent fit and finish. Feels good in the hand overall. It's UK legal, obviously. Great value um at 27 pounds absolutely fantastic or about 36 dollars so it would make a very good birthday or christmas present okay so i'd highly recommend this knife now for me what would i give this knife because it's a key ring uh, or keychain knife i'd actually give this knife do you know what because it's got the scissors the multi-tool i'm gonna give this knife five stars it's that good. 
it is that good. If it was a bigger knife, I'd then I'd want a little half stop. But it's a keychain. Five stars. Excellent value for money, guys, I think, anyway. Thank you very much for watching. All links are going to be listed below as per normal. Show your support by giving us a like, guys, and by hitting the subscribe button, as it really helps the channel. Okay, take care. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.